Welcome instructors to English 11, Composition Fundamentals. This course is the support course to English 101, Composition 1. Students who either place into this course or opt to take this course want a bit of extra time and support as they complete the college level course. They will have two additional credits to complete the objectives. The objectives are the same as the 101 objectives. So even though this seems at times like a different course, it's really not because um, the objectives are the same. The course description explains that this is a support course. It should be taken simultaneously with composition and it helps our students develop critical thinking, writing, and research skills. So these performance objectives and measurable performance objectives are identical to what they will be working on in the college level class. The way that we have our students succeed in this course is by spending additional time and providing some additional resources for them. So we recommend that when you set up the course, you should first go to getting started and see what it is that your students are going to be looking at first and foremost. So the first thing your students will be looking at is a course orientation video. So it's helpful for you to watch that as well. Your students will also look at your instructor information. So be certain that by the time your students can access the course, you have updated instructor information with your pertinent and important info. The course expectations and policies of the English department have already been loaded into the class. So you should stress those uh, requirements and then your students will be looking at the syllabus. So let's look at the required assignments and point values. In this class, we did not want to overwhelm our students with an additional thousand points because in English 101, they will be completing a thousand points work, worth of work. Instead, we have structured this class to be worth just 100 points. And it also flows and is structured in a way that I think will make sense to you and your students. Each of the four units simply has 25 points, 25%. So every unit has two checkpoints that are worth 10 points apiece, and then a summative grade reminder that the summative grade from English 101 will contribute to 5% in each unit for a total of 20%. So if you have been with us in the English department for a couple of years now since our redesign, you may remember that this summative assignment in English 11 used to be a journal entry or a presentation. Students did, who, who did the assignment tended to do very well on it. However, some students expressed that it gave them a lot of anxiety and seemed like extra work. So we really wanted our students to focus more on the 101 uh, assignments. And we thought that it would be helpful for that grade, the summative grade in 101, to actually be counted in both courses, 101 and 11. So whenever you get to one of those assignments or when your students get to one of those assignments in their assignment and submission folder, you'll see that the directions are really simple. They don't have to submit anything. You just simply have to remember to plug in the corresponding number of points. The rubric we set up will help you do this pretty quickly. We recommend having 
your screen open to having two screens open rather. And in the 101 class, you'll want to have the summative grade up and, and ready for that particular student. And then you'll just plug in the number of points depending on how they did. So you can really stress to your students that the better they do on that summative assignment, the better they will do in their support course. Other items you will want to point out to your students include the um, schedule. If you happen to be in a Zoom section, you'll want to show them the Zoom resources and then other resources and tutorials that we share with all students at the college. The schedule uh, will be set to the number of weeks that you will be teaching. But if for some reason you're in an 11 week schedule and it says 15 week schedule or vice versa, you can easily hide or reveal the schedule that is the one that you want your students to see. So make sure your students are staying on track. We have tried to pace the course so that no single week is too overwhelming for them. You will also want to go to the instructor guide um, within the Getting Started module. So we put in bold font, hello instructors, to bring your attention to this instructor guide. Within the guide, you have different tasks and to-dos, like updating your instructor information. If you want to include your own videos, and welcome videos and informative videos, you are more than welcome to do that. We also want to make sure that you are including announcements throughout the semester as students have reported in multiple formats that the announcements are among the most helpful things that an instructor can do for them as they progress their way through a class. If you have any questions at all, please get in touch with me, your chair, or your course lead at your campus. Hope you have a great semester with your English 11 students.